I think it's too early for Normani to drop an album. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Please, listen, please, listen to me. Listen to me. I know we've been waiting for like five years for her debut album drop, but right now it feels as if she just wants to get over with it because we have been waiting impatiently and we have been roasting her back to reality. Some of her fans have given up on her, but most of us, we are still here because we couldn't replace her. Yes, she is irreplaceable and we love her dearly. Yes, her parents were both diagnosed with cancer. I get it. I've been there before. I know how that feels. But question, do you think your parent who is 100% supportive in what you do would want you to stop pursuing your dreams just because they're sick? No! I know I sound harsh right now. I am very empathetic, believe it or not. I apologize if that came out wrong. My issue is... No money. You went MIA on and off for five years, then boom, you're back with an album title, a dose of visuals, singles ready to go under your great website for it. Yet, you're not as active as you should be on social media. If you haven't dropped an album yet, you're still a new artist in my books. It's crazy how she managed to be a new artist for almost seven years since she went solo. She has seven songs in her discography before her recent singles like Candy Paint and 159. As a fan, we were pushing for an album because she was dropping inconsistently. But let's be honest, she could have dropped an EP if she felt like she wasn't ready to drop an album. As we know, your first album should be career defining before you drop a shitty one. But definitely, she could have dropped an EP, mixtape, LP, trilogy, I don't know. Since she's back from her hiatus, she's back with her album rollout or lead single, whatever it's called. What's the difference? Let's see. According to ChatGPT, a rollout single is a single that is a part of a promotional campaign for the album. And the, and the lead single is a single, a song, to create buzz for the album. So, anyways, she's back with her lead single with Ghana 159. Can I just say this? Ghana is the favorite feature for the pop girlies. He might be blackballed or whatever, but the girls got him. So, the song 159, I liked it. I don't think my opinion matters on that because I like Normani. Whatever she drops, I'm going to listen to it. I missed her voice, I can't wait for her creative visuals, her phenomenal dance moves, but people felt as though it was mid-generic, something that's already been done. I understand why people felt that way, it's like, yes, we're excited you dropping the damn album, but the hiatus could have been the time you used to jump onto a new sound, working with new hot producers, dope songwriters, or just give us something out of the damn box. If not sonically, you could have rebranded, but Normani isn't showing signs of growth and versatility. She still has some bad habits though. She's inactive on social media. We still don't know much about her. She's the same old same girl from Fifth Harmony. Like, what did you do on your two-year vacation? Yes, we already know we will get awesome visuals, great choreography, great performances from you, but it's that same old same. Where the growth at? You still can communicate with your fans, your consumers, and your loyal customers. If you're going to be mute for that long, at least come back differently. With something new, fresh, unique, come back with a bang, with something alien, trailblazing, outside of the damn box. Anyway, since this video is about Normani dropping too soon, what I mean is she's starting from scratch. I think it's too early as a business she should have came back with consistently dropping singles until it hits the charts or gains popularity on social media leading up to surprise surprise the album not like i've been mia then boom the album is done uh here's a small portion of visuals pre-save it is coming soon then dropping the lead single that performs poorly beyond expectations that ain't a good sign that your album will sell, but who knows? That's why I think a rebrand would have been necessary. Another thing, she should find her fashion style. We know this, she doesn't dress like a pop icon, and this is not me telling y'all that she can't dress, she just, I don't know, she dresses cute. <laughs> She goes to red carpet events, but she, she wouldn't want to get noticed or be the center of attention. Like, why are you even there? She gotta make up her mind 
and pick her battles carefully. It's either she has a personality online or in real life. But she has to be online. She's dropping her album this month in June. And that's why I feel like she's shutting our mouths like, look, y'all have been on my nerves for years now. Here's your damn album. Yes, she's making appearances on other platforms and promoting her album, but she's not omnipresent. She should do a rollout like Chloe Bailey when she was promoting her album in pieces. She was everywhere. It said her efforts didn't translate to sales, but at least she got to do what she wanted to do initially, which was touring. And it actually sold out. So, a win is a win. For Nomani, we pretty much don't know much about what she wants to achieve with this album. What is she trying to gain? Touring? Leave a footprint? Make a mark? Or just to shut our big mouths up? Generally, I don't understand her album rollout. But genius website name though, great visuals, but the action though, I don't know. Candy Paint could be her rollout single, maybe. But I don't know, you guys. This is just my opinion. Her career had been a little messy from the get. She went solo in 2018, all together with her self-esteem, confidence shattered. She could have taken a break from there just to rebuild her confidence, dealing with her mental issues, rebrand herself as a solo act, find her unique sound, but we can't go back in time, right? She can't change the past, but if she did, we wouldn't have waves, love lies, motivation, wild side. So grateful for those songs, and oh my god, how can I forget Dancing with a Stranger? Like, I'm so grateful for those songs, we wouldn't have all of those songs. We probably would have been forgotten about her because this is kind of like what happened to Little Mix's artists. Like, I don't know what happened to some of them. Anyways, this is just my opinion. I apologize if I came out too harsh. I could be wrong. I could be right. Can't wait for the album, though. This is just my perspective now. Let me know your perspective in the comment section. But if you enjoyed this video, like, share, or subscribe if you haven't. Let's conversate and debate. And just like that, we out.